I love you, babe. Just a few simple words, but for single moms like Stephanie Campbell, they're often the only things that carry you through the day. It can be a little bit difficult, a little bit draining on my spirit, but that's what places like this is for. <laughs> Wolseley Family Place is a resource center for all families, but the majority of participants are single moms. They benefit from resources like this drop-in playgroup. I initially brought him here so that when I had him in daycare, it wouldn't be such a big leap for him to be with mom and then all of a sudden with the people. Inside the school. That's right. Their school was outside here. While the kids are socializing, parents can see the in-house nurse practitioner sort inventory in the community store or check out the clothing depot. Then there are the breakfast clubs or classes on parenting and nutrition. Where's your grapes? Coming into motherhood a little later in life, this executive director didn't know just how helpful these programs could be until she needed them herself. Because we have people that have the skills, you can sort of ask them, what, what should I do? Like, I'm really frustrated here. I don't quite know what to do. And then to have somebody normalize that it's a typical uh, behavior, that it isn't me and it isn't a reflection of me of being a bad mom. Mm, the chance to talk with other adults is one of this place's biggest draws. I think all of us feel isolated at some point, um, especially if you are on a limited income because you're a parent 24-7. If you're a single mom, you don't get much of a break. There's maintaining the house, cleaning and meals and, you know, laundry and chores. Make sure we have clean clothes, make sure we have enough food in the house, um, make sure that if I have to work, he's in good hands. And especially, again, still a single parent, so there's not that partnership where you can pass the buck and say, okay, I'm really busy tonight, or I'm tired, you know, honey, can you, can you take over? It's, you're on 24-7 all the time. I never thought about that. She used to be a participant, but Nadine McKenzie works here now that her six-year-old son is in school. This place was here for her when she needed it the most. There's a lot of programs that offer support or groups, parent groups for zero to 12 months. But after your child's one, where do you go? Having a place to go is limited by income and the common denominator among most of the women here is poverty. The majority do not have a car, so they either have to walk or bus it everywhere. Um, I would say that you have limited choices about what you can eat. You have limited choices about what you can do with your kid. Despite all of it, these moms are committed to being the best parents they can be. And I love being a mother, right? And I try to do what's best for him. Always thinking not necessarily what's best for him now, but thinking in the future, you know? Wanting to make sure that when he's older that he's going to be a nice young man. What can you tell us about horses? I've worked here for 15 years and the one thing that I would say, every mom that has walked through that door, no matter what their issues are, loved their child. Every year, Wolseley Family Place sees 3,500 individual families, over 30,000 visits and all smushed into 200 work days. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.